Hey peeps! Vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. So I have been, I should say we, were invited to a friend's house over the Labor Day weekend and I said that I would be more than happy to bring the veggie tray, charcuterie board kind of combo. And of course now last minute Lamar doesn't want to go. So it is what it is. I'm still going by myself. So today I thought I would share with you how I create my big tray. Yes, we do a big tray. I think there's only seven people going to be there, but I don't show up understocked. I like to make sure I take plenty so that everybody can snack, 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 snack. So it's kind of a pool party kind of thing. So I'm going to do all kinds of vegetables. I have bought lots of produce. I'm gonna chop everything up, do it, and it's gonna be intertwined with uh, different salamis and cheeses. We've got little thin breadsticks. I've got my entertainment selection of crackers that I'll be putting in there. And then I've even gotten some pita, little pitas. This is the everything pita. So some little pita crackers. So we're gonna take some chicken salad, some guacamole, of course. This is one of my favorite dips. It's an avocado ranch. I absolutely love this. I love, 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 love. So, and then we'll sprinkle some raspberries and blackberries in here, and it's just gonna be yummy. So, let's get started. Okay, guys, so um, basically I have washed and rinsed all these different vegetables, and so now I'm going to get started by cutting them so that we can get ready to do our board. So basically, I'm just going to kind of just stick them over on the board for now until I get enough cut to where I can uh, arrange them how I want them to be arranged. So we're gonna work on the cauliflower first. Just gonna chop everything up into nice, hand sized pieces so people don't have to eat too much. Of course I do this right by my garbage can so I can just be going right into the garbage can. So it's gonna be a nice, I've done this before at one of her parties and it was a huge hit. Everybody loved the display. Everybody loved the ingredients that I put together. So I was like, what the heck? I've done this before at her parties. I will just do it again because it was a big hit. So what I like to do is I actually don't do a lot of each one. I start off by just doing a little bit of each one till I can actually start my little piles to where I can actually kind of visualize how it's gonna look I like to make these, you know, sometimes you go places and the pieces of vegetables are so incredibly huge. You're like, oh my God, I really wanted a piece of broccoli, but I didn't want half the head. <laughs> I've been to those parties. You're like, Jesus. Like you get to call a piece of broccoli that big. You're like, um, I really wanted a piece, but I didn't want the whole head of broccoli. So I like to take my time and make them nice bite sizes because some people want a bite, but they don't want a big bite. You know, and it's hard to get a piece of vegetable and stick it in your mouth and still have a conversation without sounding like an idiot while you're munching away. So anyways, we are almost done with a small bunch of broccoli. Like I said, I rinsed these earlier. They've been laying here drying while I've been outside getting the pool situated for Tashina and her friend because they're doing a little pool party while I'm at my friend's house. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, we've got enough of the broccoli and the cauliflower so far. Like I said, I want to do a nice display. I don't want to overkill. through four veggies so far. We're gonna chop up, we're gonna do some carrots. I have not washed these yet. So let me wash these real fast. Okay. So let's take these over here. We're going to do some cucumbers. Okay guys, so I am pretty much done with the tray. At least I hope so. <laughs> it's about as full as it can possibly get, seriously. So let me grab the camera and take it over so you can actually see everything I've done now. So anyways, big old tray here. So we basically have brie, we've got hummus, we've got chicken salad, we've got smoked gouda uh, cheese, we've got American cheese, we've got a couple different salamis, and we've got all kinds of different vegetables. Like I said, the gouda cheese here, gouda cheese over there, the American cheese there, we've got cheddar cheese here, brie, and then we've got all of these vegetables. We've got an amazing avocado ranch dressing, and so I'm going to be taking with me the breadsticks, the crackers, and the pitas for everybody to enjoy with this. So it's quite a large tray. I don't know if you can actually tell from this video how large this tray is, but it is quite big. Yeah, this is big. And for seven people, this ought to be freaking amazing. Yeah, so this is the tray I've made to take to this party. Like I said, I'm going to take some townhouse pitas uh, for the hummus and whatnot. I will be taking some breadsticks because everybody likes breadsticks. And then I've got my box of entertainment cracker selection um, for people to use. And then of course all the vegetables can be dipped in here. So I think it's good. I can't wait to go. Now I gotta go get cleaned up real fast and put away all these vegetables and everything and get going out the door. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you in this wacky Wednesday kind of video. So let's get on with the video. So, the other thing I'm going to attempt to do today is put a bed frame together. <laughs> I know, y'all are like, don't you have help around here? Well, my guys are out there doing the pickleball court, so I really hate to drag them away from that. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, I'm up for an adventure. I've never done this before, so here's the directions. Can't be that hard, right? 
So we have a bed upstairs that is missing a box springs. How that happened, I don't have any idea. But through this whole thing of musical beds and when we got the new bed and then we moved the new bed into there and then that bed went into over here and then we moved some beds around upstairs and now I was missing a box spring. So it's a box springs. Don't need to spend a lot of money on a box springs. It's not like you're sleeping on the box springs. You're sleeping on the mattress. The mattress has to be the good part of the bed. So anyways, I ordered a, a box springs uh, from Wayfair. I like Wayfair. You know, Kelly Clarkson, doesn't she have her own line of furniture or something uh, with Wayfair? I don't know, I need to check into that. But anyways, I'm like, okay, I'm up for a new adventure. I'm not gonna let this scare me. I'm, I'm gonna try to do this. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret and let you watch me try to attempt to put a bed frame together. We could use some light in here. Um, so here we go. Okay, so it really doesn't look that hard, does it? <laughs> yes, it does. OMG. And of course, today, Caroline is off. So I get to figure this out all by myself. OMG. So I hope everything's labeled. Oh my God. Okay, wish me luck. kindergartner should be able to figure this out right so let's see if I can figure this out okay so it's actually not as hard as I envisioned it to be because look it's like hook the five to the five the six to the six the four to the four so it's actually coming along actually pretty good so Right now, I'm trying to hook a five and a five together. Okay, it's a little bent. Okay, and then we've got a couple little screws and my little trusty Allen wrench. So it actually hasn't been going as bad as I thought it was going to be. I really dreaded it because I was like, oh my God, this kind of looks like a maze and a puzzle. But it's actually not bad. So basically, I got one more corner to go. This is a four and a four. Oh great, this is bent. Lovely. Now I gotta go get a pair of pliers. Okay, so now I'm starting to figure this out now. Okay, okay, okay. This is an eight. So I believe this is gonna go here. that said. Let's see what goes over here. That's a seven. And this is an eight. And this is an eight. So maybe this was a seven. So let's put this one here for a minute. Okay, starting to figure this out. Okay. And then this is an eight and a seven. So I don't think it matters. So here's an eight and a seven. Okay, so I just need a pair of pliers to straighten this out. Then we're gonna take this upstairs and then that is when we start putting all of these bad boys across. Then we stick the material on 
around the box springs. So this isn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Yay! Let me go get a pair of pliers so I can straighten that piece of metal out. And then we're gonna finish hooking everything together. Then I'm probably gonna go tell the guys to come in and carry this upstairs for me. Once they get it upstairs, I then can put all the slats in, put the material on, get the bed made. Not bad, not bad. I'm doing pretty good, I have to admit. If you've never done one of these beds before, like I said, this one's called the Me Mellow. How to set up Mellow. Heavy duty steel box spring, nine inch. So it looks like a quite a maze, tells me all the stuff. I've literally done every step. <clears throat> so we've got it all put together now. We've just got to finish bolting it together. And then like I said, I'm gonna go upstairs. Once we carry it upstairs, I'll put all the slats on, we'll put the material on, and we'll make the bed. So it's really not as hard as I was trying to make it out to be. So once it's done, it's gonna look amazing. So I'm actually quite proud of myself. Didn't have any help. No Carolina, no men, no, no nobody. Figuring it out all by myself. So see, the fear of the unknown was, oh my God, I don't know how to put this together. And when I opened the box, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna figure this out, but not hard. I always like a challenge. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I had to go get Diego to straighten that piece of metal down there on that corner because it was bent bad and it took a lot of manpower to straighten it out. But anyways, he straightened it out. I finished screwing in all the other screws, so it is ready now to be carried upstairs by the two guys. Once they get it upstairs, I will then put in all of the slats into the appropriate spots, put the gray cover over it, and it will end up looking like that. And I can put the bed back together, and we are good to go. There's my metal frame. Yeah. Now we gotta put the slats in. So they're gonna help me. Easy peasy. I remember back in the old days, there used to be like really super heavy wood and metal box springs. Now they're gonna make it so simple. So, it goes like that, and then we're gonna have a mattress. Yeah. And now I get the fun part of making the bed. Look in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And people say I don't know how to do my own stuff. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay, the housekeeper said I didn't need a bed skirt, and I clearly do. Good Lord, Carolina. Okay, so I still gotta order a bed skirt. So this one in here looks good. How huh, Ricky, how huh, Ricky. This one in here is good. It's got the throw on it. It's all in white. That's fine. So now I need to order a bed skirt for this one. Not a problem. See, this one doesn't have a bed skirt, but I think the bedspread hangs down far enough it doesn't need one. Hmm. Dilemma. That's because I used a bigger comforter in here. Hmm. Okay. Dilemma. We'll get this figured out yet. 
Okay, we are at a place called Swing Zone. It's an indoor golf simulator place. And I brought the twins here to practice golf today since it's 100 degrees outside. I don't know why we haven't been here all summer long. Holy moly, this is fantastic. So they are on the driving range right now. And then they I think they've picked Pebble Beach as the place where they want to play. So this is so cool. So cool. Got drinks, food, golf simulators. Very, very nice. So this is what you do when it's 100 degrees outside and you can't fathom going to the golf course. We're so over this heat. So looking forward to having some nice cool weather shortly. I mean, I love hot, but it's been over 60 days of 100 plus degrees. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier in the summer. Good times. I highly recommend it. If you can find an indoor simulator for golf, it's definitely a good way to beat the heat. They're even open when it rains or when it's cold outside. So we might have found our new best place to be. So they are here this morning and they are measuring out the lines for the pickleball court. And they have cleaned the surface and they are getting the paint dumped into buckets and we are going to get ready to start painting the gray. And of course the actual pickleball court is going to be a pretty blue and the outside, five feet outside up to this line, is going to be gray and the inside of the court is going to be blue. So it's going to be so pretty! So they're working Labor Day to get this going. We want to get this done so we can start playing. So it's beginning. This is going to be the gray. So this is kind of like they matched it to the gauntlet gray, which is what I've used all over this property. So they're doing the outline, the outer areas of the pickleball court, a gauntlet gray. And then the same color as that bucket will be the blue that's in here. So, yeah, it's amazing. They just got done blowing off all these pine needles and now look, pine needles are back down on here again. So, okay, can't wait to show you guys as we progress this week. Okay, I know it's dark, but you can at least see the gray portion that they got painted today. You can see somebody's footprints too. Uh-huh. But anyways, it is nice and gray, and this is going to be blue. So I don't know if they did one coat today or if this is two. Somebody's footprints. Uh-huh. But anyways, it's going to look good. Oh, I just love coming out here at night. It's so cool. Can't wait to have pickleball lights. But yeah, they got the gray done today. I wasn't out here when they were doing it later in the day, but it's looking good. It's looking good. My tree is all lit up. That looks good. Yeah. Oh yes, it's gonna look good when we get the lights up. But anyways, just a little update. So you will get to see more of it on Friday's video because we will be filming the rest of the week and hopefully it'll be done and looking amazing when I film it for you guys to see on Friday. Yes, oh, look, my step got done too. Mm -hmm. 
pine needles everywhere. My stepping stones look so cool, look so cool. So anyways, we're progressing. So this happened out of nowhere. Lamar is hosting a small Calcutta for some golf thing this week. So we got guys over here doing some betting and eating Chinese food. So yeah, that was sprung on at me at the last minute. So, oh Lord, we got a golfer kid here getting ready to massage his arm, get an ice pack on it because he's trying to qualify for a golf tournament for his team. So yeah, we, uh, we're a little busy tonight, but what the hell? What the hell? So let me try to find a quiet spot so I can finish out this video and uh, give you guys an outro. It's somewhere in here. Look at this big ass bed. Oh my God. I have a dog up there. See him? <laughs> Tiki dog. So I'm still waiting on my headboard. <clears throat> my headboard and my base that will be around the bottom of this bed is getting covered in this beautiful gold material. So it's gonna end up really, really, really pretty. And everybody here tonight has had to uh, see how big this bed is. <laughs> ah! I haven't really been wanting to show you guys because I don't have it. I don't have the headboard and the sides hooked to it yet. I don't have all the bedding on it yet with all the pretty pillows. So I really wanna wait and show you the debut of it once I have everything put together. But I love the bed. It is big, it is comfortable, and I'm in love with it. And my puppy dogs all like it. We can all fit on the bed now, can't we? Yes, yes, we can all fit on the bed. Yay, let's have a, let's have a party. Let's have a party. We're gonna have a slumber party with all the puppy dogs. Yes, sir. Okay. So guys, here's my little Nicky Nay Nay, my little Nicky Nay Nay. Mm, my little Wiki Woo down here. My little Wiki Woo. They gotta be with me 24 seven. Gotta be with me, gotta be with me. So anyways, the guys have adjourned, uh, the guys have moved to the family room. Uh, they're watching some golf and some sports. Um, and so my kitchen area has cleared out. You can kind of see that it's cleared out. But anyways, it's been a fun evening getting to see all these guys and watching them do their Calcutta and all their bedding. It's kind of fun. Got some geodes in the background. What, baby girl? Mm -hmm. My baby boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, another Wacky Wednesday video. You know, it is gonna be full of everything. So let's do a recap. We've got the pickleball court just getting done. We have uh, Tashina's upstairs kitchen area. Uh, they're building the cabinet area. Remember, we moved the stove and the above stove microwave down to her kitchen, so it left an area, but I could not find the same granite. So instead of trying to replace all the cabinetry granite, we just decided to build a new cabinet where the range and over the range microwave was. So they're working on that. Um, the gray has been painted. We are waiting for the blue to arrive tomorrow um, so that they can get started on the blue. The electrician should be finishing up with lighting yet. That is really the last thing left to do with the pickleball court. Um, we're still working on getting the rest of the bed upholstered so it'll get finished so I can finally debut it pretty for you guys. Um, and then of course, you know, we're dealing with Zach's arm. Um, showed you guys going, uh, us going to swing zone and playing golf. So this, this video just has it all. Shows me uh, putting a bed frame together, which was new and interesting. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I can create a beautiful platter uh, with veggies and cheeses and everything. Like So I'm mean, like, this is just a wacky Wednesday video. It's just full of everything, just everything. Everything that's going on my wall. Friday's video is going to be fun. I'm not going to tell you yet what it is, but Friday's video is going to be fun. I promise you that. Look at that pretty orchid plant in the back. The geodes over here, the front door. This is a beautiful, beautiful spot. We are thinking of opening tickets for the 
fashion show early. Tomorrow, the tent lady will be coming out to help me establish what tent I'm going to put out here, whether it's going to be a clear ceiling tent um, with no sides because November is still nice here, or whether I'm going to do a solid white, white, white. But we are doing another tent off to the side for the models, the fashion designers, and the uh, clothing and hair and makeup and all that kind of stuff. So she's got a, she's coming sometime after lunch tomorrow to go over the layout with me so we can figure that out. Uh, so we're, we're already running and gunning with uh, Fashion Woodlands. So um, the great thing is too, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek hint here. In order to get to go in the closet this year, you're going to have to be able to buy a VIP ticket, which will give you access to the closet. Or if you buy general admission or standing room only, you will have to pay a small fee to go into the closet, but that will be donated strictly straight to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So it's gonna be a donation. So it's not like, oh Lord, like I gotta pay this to go in the closet. Just remember it's a donation to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, so it's gonna be worth it. So, and it's a small amount, like it's nothing major. So anyways, that's gonna be cool because that is another way to raise more monies for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And last year, nobody really got to see the closet except the peeps because everybody was in my closet. The, 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 the designers were in there, the racks were in there, the models were in there, hair and makeup was in there. Like everybody was in my master area and closet. So nobody, the closet was never open for anybody to get to visit and see and whatever. So we're changing all that this year. So it's gonna be fun and exciting. So anyways, with that said, I'm gonna close out this video. It's been another wonderful Wacky Wednesday video. And um, Friday is going to be interesting and fun. So stay tuned. So with that said, until next time, guys. Love you. Love you. Love you. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you later. Bye.